everyone, and welcome to another Tempo Strategy Wild Hearthstone video. The madness at the Darkmoon Fair has taken over Wild Hearthstone and inspired the return of many classic decks, but there's one deck in particular that has taken the wild meta by storm. Of course, we're talking about Big Priest, the classic wild boogeyman that everyone loves to hate. Now, we've covered this topic once before back in the Year of the Dragon, but Big Priest was knocked out of the top tiers with the Barnes nerf, only to come roaring back thanks to powerful new cards from Madness at the Darkmoon fair. Even with these new cards, our message is still the same. Big Priest is far from unbeatable. In fact, with the right deck choices and tech cards, you can turn the tides and take advantage of a priest-heavy meta. In this video, we'll teach you how to counter the new and improved Big Priest consistently so you can farm wins against them on your next climb to legend. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to the Tempo Strategy YouTube channel and to turn notifications on to stay up to date with our Wild Hearthstone content. Now, before we go over the best strategies to use against Big Priest, Priest, let's talk about how Big Priest works. Big Priest runs a small handful of heavy hitting minions and aims to cheat these expensive minions onto the board ahead of schedule via Shadow Essence. Even though there are only two copies of Shadow Essence in the deck, you can discover extra copies through Shadow Visions or Palm Reading. Palm Reading also helps by discounting the cost of the spells in your hand, which makes it possible to cast Shadow Essence as early as turn 5. Both Blood of Cahoon and Scrapyard Colossus have Taunt, so once they're summoned by Shadow Essence, they tend to stop the opposition dead in its tracks. After these minions die, Big Priest can use Resurrect, Eternal Servitude, Lesser Diamond Spellstone, and Mass Resurrection to bring these massive threats back again and again until they've beat the opponent into submission. Before the pain train gets rolling, Big Priest relies on a heavy complement of single target and AoE removal spells to keep the board clear. Between all of this removal and the endless deluge of heavy threats and taunts, Big Priest is a powerful deck that's capable of fighting aggro and control decks alike. Given how relentless Big Priest minions can be and how effective their removal is against aggro, the deck can seem impossible to overcome, but there are a wide range of decks that have very strong matchups against Big Priest, and they all take advantage of two of Big Priest's key weaknesses. First, Big Priest is relatively slow. Even with Palm Reading discounting Shadow Essence, the earliest Big Priest can get on the board at all is with a turn 4 Archmage Vargath, followed by a turn 5 Shadow Essence. Without Vargath or Shadow Essence, Big Priest has no way to pressure its opponent until the later turns. Second, Big Priest has no way to interact against enemy combo decks. Despite all of its removal and healing, if the opponent's goal isn't beating down with minions, then Big Priest is a sitting duck. So let's talk about some combo decks that can take advantage of these weaknesses. Malaga's Druid ramps its mana and draws cards in the early game. Then once it hits 10 mana, it plays the Aviana Kun combo with Malagos, Sathravar, and Kael'thas Sunstrider, then burns the opponent's face for 30 damage or more. Even if it takes a while, for Malagos Druid to assemble its combo, it can still stall against Big Priest by gaining massive amounts of armor or by hiding behind Spreading Plague. Reno Priest uses Raza the Chained and Shadow Reaper Anduin to change its hero power into a repeatable source of damage, then uses that hero power to either kill the opponent over several turns while removing threats, or it kills the opponent in one shot with Spawn of Shadows. Mill Rogue uses Cold Light Oracle to force both players to draw cards over and over again by using cards like Shadow Step, Gang Up, Bran Bronzebeard, and Tenwu of the Red Smoke to recycle Cold Light Oracle's Battle Cry. Since Big Priest cards can be situational and expensive, it ends up overdrawing most of its deck. If things get hairy on board, Mill Rogue can use Sap and Vanish to keep the board under wraps, or use Cloak of Shadows or Valera the Hollow to buy as much time as it needs to destroy the opponent's deck. Even other versions of Big Priest are getting in on the combo action, with some versions of the deck using Malagos, Prophet Velen, and Mind Blast to set up an OTK finish in the mirror match. Bottom line, if you have an over the top combo win condition, you can easily win against Big Priest's plotting pace. Still, what can you do if you're not playing a combo deck? If you're a control deck, eventually you'll have to deal with Big Priest minions, but that's easier said than done since they'll just come back over and over and over again. Most removal is just a temporary reprieve against Big Priest, but there are removal options that transform their minions rather than simply destroying them. From classic examples like Polymorph and Hex, to more modern and efficient answers like Devolve and Devolving Missiles, to niche options like Potion of Polymorph and Plague of Murlocs, transform effects can neutralize problem minions while adding garbage to the Big Priest resurrection pool. If you're playing a Cabal Highlander deck like Reno Lock, you'll even have access to this kind of removal via Kazakus and Zephyrus the Great, since Kazakus can discover 5 mana or 10 mana Mystic Wool potions, and Zephyrus can discover Hex. Be careful with using Zephyrus though, since it will offer you Shadow Word Ruin instead of Hex if you play him against multiple large minions. What if you're less interested in destroying their minions and more interested in just 
pushing past their taunts so you can attack for lethal. Devolve is a classic taunt breaking option for even shaman and big shaman, while silence effects like shield breaker are better suited for decks like pirate warrior. Another option is to simply stop them from playing shadow essence and stop them from playing removal spells while you're at it. Lotheb can jam both their summoning spells and their removal, so it's an essential card for decks like dark glare warlock and odd rogue that can use it to set up a two turn lethal. No matter what kind of deck you're playing, there are smart cards that you can use to improve the big priest matchup, so take a closer look at these options and see which ones are right for you. Beyond using tech cards, what else can you do to get an edge on priest? For aggro players, beating big priest will take a different approach beyond the bum rush tactics we've recently seen from decks like aggro druid. Big priest is very good at destroying small minions and early swarms with all of its removal, so you can't completely rely on your minions to do all the damage. Instead, you'll want to get your licks in early with on curve minion plays, then finish them off with charge minions, direct damage, or attacks from your hero. The most successful aggro decks in the current meta all include direct damage finishers, such as cards like Twin Slice and Dreadlord's Bite in Odd Demon Hunter, and Cloud Prince and Fireball out of Secret Mage. Both Odd Demon Hunter and Secret Mage also include disruptive cards that can disrupt the priest while you're dealing damage, such as Mana Burn, Consume Magic, and Counter Spell. Kingsbane Rogue is another classic aggro deck that can deal most of its damage without minions, though you'll want to consider using tech cards like Sap to help bypass taunts and deliver the finishing blow. In the end, aggro decks can still compete in a big priest meta as long as you have a fast start, disruptive options, and an over-the-top finisher. All in all, we've covered quite a few ways you can fight back against Wild's big priest menace, so let's recap. Use decks with effective matchups against priest, use tech cards that neutralize big priest minions or disrupt their spells, and use over-the-top finishers to bypass their taunts and seal the deal. The Dark Moon Fair meta is still shifting, so there's one last tip we can share. Check out our bi-weekly Wild Meta snapshots for the most current lists, matchup analysis, and more so you can stay ahead of the meta as it develops. That's it for now, but as always, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to stay up to date with our Wild Hearthstone content. Thanks for watching! Yeah.